Hello YouTube, my name is Thomas Mazzacci slash TJ Mazzacci, and today I'll be talking a lot about the Emirates Academy. Some of y'all at DRA may know me, um, if you're watching this video right now. Now, I went there, I think, April 18th of 2018, 2018, and I went there for defiance, for disrespecting my parents, and I also physically abused them. And also, my sister and my brother, too. I stole a lot. I also stole a lot. And I stabbed a cat and a lot of other bad, horrible things. So now I, I, I want to talk about my stay at the Emirates Academy. It started out when I told my... I started out bad. I told my parents I was going to run. And I ended up getting caught. I didn't run, though. I But, but I wrote my parents saying I was going to run. So there is this thing to help the kids be safe and make sure they don't harm themselves. And the thing is called watch clothes. Like watch. Black and yellow clothes. I know it may seem funny to remind you about the Wiz Khalifa song, but it's actually um, a good supportive part about Demerich Academy. Now the four watch now the four watch that Deere has are called Rum Watch, Suicide Watch, Elevator Watch. I forgot the last one, I think it was Self Arm Watch. But anyways, um if there even if there even if there is even a fourth one. I think it was oh, self harm watch, right? Yeah, I think so. But anyways, I went on room watch for not even 20 minutes because my parents, no, it's not, it's not because my parents, because my therapist pulled me from my, from this part of DRA called RFI. Now RFI is basically detention where you can't talk, can't live board games, you, you have to participate in this thing called CALS where you have to do exercise. You know, you know what we have to do. Like, you know, like jumping jacks and stuff like that. So anyways, back to the story. My therapist, Tara, Tara, or I think it was Tara, took me into off took me into her, into her office and talked to me for a little bit. And the reason why she pulled me is because of a benefit. Now the benefit I did not a benefit a DRA is where you get to do f fun things like have snacks, candy, watch the Super Bowl, which I love to do, watch a movie, and go off campus. So the birthday benefit happens on your birthday. Sometimes before or after, but most of the time you get to go off campus and go to arcade places a lot that are a lot of fun. My favorite place that has to do with arcade places is, is Fiesta Fun in St. George, Utah. That was a wild place with go karts, golf, and stuff that has to do with arcade usually has, or that has arcades, like. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I forgot. Um, but anyways, now I went on the birthday benefit, and we ended up going to see the Avengers Infinity War. on the PCD. Now, PCD is Parent Communications Director, where they talk to, to your parents and about that, about stuff that has to do with that has to do with how you're doing, how's the stay, how's this, how have the stay have have impacted you so far, and a lot of and a lot of other exciting stuff. But anyway, so after that, a couple months into the program, um, at the ranch, I started to get into the smooth of things, like doing math school. Mostly, uh, most of the time I I was st I was still bad, uh, into the defiant stuff. But after five or seven months into it, I did a lot of I did a lot better. Now I went on a home visit. Uh, I went on home visits. Now, visits are where you get to see your parents. And in... Now, in, now in order to do that, you have to be a director. Called level work. You have to be a director level. Called level work. Now, level work is where you, do, where you get to have to... Where you have to complete in order to graduate the, 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 the program. And also, you have to do your school and be good. But anyways, so there's the six levels at the ranch you have to complete. Um, they were student, supervisor, manager, director, graduate, and postgraduate. But they also did but they also managed um to do discovery before student. Anyways, I'll mention some stuff about it later later in the video. But um anyways I started to go on home visits and filled two of them for stealing money from my parents, which was a bad thing to do because I wasn't thinking but past but past the um very last home visits I did good. 
I showed my PC to which a, what a program director should act like. Now what they do is keep students safe and have eyes on other, and have and has eyes on the students. That's what a PC that's what a PD does. Parent parent or er, program director, my bad. So I showed a lot. So I showed all of them um that I was ready to graduate the program and I ended up doing it. Doing it. Um I left July thirteenth of twenty nineteen and so I was I went so I went home for about two months. Two months and I did great. Started to relax I and I started to relapse after that. And some old behaviors. I got arrested for assault on my dad. I also kicked in his car door. And both of them actually. And I stole like again and I attempted to hack an ATM machine. I know some of y'all dare may think it's funny, but it's actually not. Because uh, that's a bad thing to do, and you got, and some of you people make, made fun of me because of that, and I just didn't appreciate it. Plus, that's like a bad thing to do because yeah, that's going to get you arrested, and a lot of other bad stuff. So I went back to Denver Ranch Academy, and was December 8th of 2019 at, hold up, I gotta let my um, cat out. Wanna see him? Poke. There you go. Alright. Back to the story. Back to the story. So. So I went back to Denver Ranch Academy. The date was December 8th of 2019. At Denver Ranch Academy. For the second time. And I actually did better. I knew what to do. I had to do. I know. I know. What I did. Yeah, that's Cardi B right there. My favorite rapper. Anyways. um, I had to do. What I had to do, I got it done. There was a lot of bad behavior my first and second day, but I did a lot of good stuff. And I graduated again. Again. And I got on November 25th. Now that I got not, now that I got that done, I want to mention the people that have helped me throughout my stay. First person is Brent Black. Now, Brent was a therapist at DRA that got, me, that got assigned to him as my therapist. And there, and he helped me throughout my my first my he helped me throughout the end of my first and my, my whole second stay. He has been a huge impact in my life, and I mean he is he taught me huge, like stuff like word called trust. Where in order to build it, you have to show your parents. I'm sorry if you notice I'm shaking my head a lot and see like that and that I like do like that I chat Tourette's so I can't really help it but anyways where in order to build it you have to show your parents like that you're that you're that you're um you have that you have good attitude and behaviors and also about and also about having good relationships with your parents he was a good man a dear I'm going to miss him. The second I like to mention is Tyler Wright. Now Tyler Wright is my PCD, and I would always see him in the halls. And every time I when I needed him, he'd be there for me, and I'm grateful for that. So thank you, Tyler Wright. So thank you, Tyler. But anyways, the third person I'd like to mention is Steve and Sarah. Now they were the math teachers at the ranch, and they would definitely help me on my math. And sometimes I get up, I would get out of it and started cheating the back of the book. Funny, right? Actually, no, it's not funny because that's bad. The cheat. I would get out of it and look in the back of the book and cheat, which is bad. Which is a bad thing. But since, but now since that they have helped me and taught me what to do, I now have a B in my class at Empower Academy, which ain't that bad. More like a C. I moved it up to a B. But anyways, I'd like to mention Stephen Sarah. I also like to mention that Stephen Sarah. Um, would all they would always print stuff out for me. I know it'd be funny, like magic cards, so I could l look at them and wanted to thank them for that. LOL, laugh out loud. The fourth person I like to mention is Kyle Jaycox. I know that means I know his last name may sound funny, but 
let's just call him Kyle. Now, Kyle was a very good dude. He was a PD. And I would always say God. And I would always say God, and he would, hit, and he would always give me a citation, which is a warning. And five to three warnings. So, basically, discovery and student and supervisor of five. Managers four and director of graduate and postgraduate of three sites, which which is warnings. But you but you get R five time if you hit excessive, which is like which is the limit of sites. The fifth the fifth and final person, but yeah, he was super hold up. But he was like super religious and I took advantage of that by saying God and damn it and stuff like that. It's just not well I I thought it was funny back then. But now the thing of it, I wasn't because I was trying to take advantage of him, like, being religious. So, that's my bad, Kyle. But the fifth and final person I'd like to mention in this video is Tara and Stuart. Now, they were my old therapists at Deere. We're just like, we're, they were just like Brent. We're helping me become a successful in life and building trust in my re relationships with parents. So, I want to thank all the staff at the ranch for helping me throughout my stay. Now, I want to thank the students at DRA. You may know, you may know that you're in this speech, but some of y'all, like, are actually, um, are actually had a big impact in my life. So, the students are Colin, Marcus, Nate, Elijah, Moshe, Dez, Max, Declan, Alexei, Winston, Michael, K, Michael Kilborn, Moshe or uh, Jaden, oh, I almost said Moshe twice, and Parker. Those students were helping me throughout my stay at the ranch, and so every time when I get upset, they would come and um, get me motivated again and try to help me, and I really appreciate it. So if you have any, if so, by the way, one one more thing, if you have anything to say, if you have anything to say that's like bad about the ranch. Like, it's abusive, there is there are debts there, and there are a lot of other bad stuff, like, people, like the teacher should get, a, like, the staff should get arrested. Don't say that, because it's, it's, if you really think about it, they're just trying to protect you and keep you safe. So you are wrong about DRA. If you say, like, if you say that there are bad staff there, and they try to abuse you, that's actually pretty false. You're speaking false claims right there, my boy. Well, that's all I have to say about the ranch. Thank you for your time for listening to my advice. If you're watching this video, like if you're watching this video, um, add DRA. Some of y'all may know me, and I just want to give a shout out to all y'all for helping me. See you later.